Hey guys, welcome back to Amanda's Favorites. Today we're going to talk about Erin Condren stickers while functionally planning. So I am a very functional planner. I do not use that many stickers. This week in particular has many stickers, way more than normal because it is my birthday week, my husband's birthday week, and our anniversary all in one week's time. So I decided just to do it up big with my very favorite pattern of hers, the mid-century circles. But I don't normally use this many stickers. So I actually have had some questions about this and I was just going to do some stuff in Insta stories, but as I started to do it, it got way longer and you guys know how hard Insta stories are to make when you're trying to show bigger spreads and things. So I just decided I would do a short little video about it and I would flip through my planner and show you. Um, so this is next year's academic planner. This is this year's planner. I'm actually going to be coiling them together. That's a whole nother video though. If you don't follow me, you may not know that because this is a calendar year, but I am switching to using academic year now. So I'm going to take, because I already planned out through the end of this calendar year, I'm going to take the end of this calendar year and place it with the rest of the next academic year. But I will do a whole recoiling video on that when I do that pretty soon. Right now I wanted to talk about functionally planning with stickers. So on holidays and things like this, I have more stickers, as you can see on the 4th of July coming up this year. That's just how maybe a holiday ends up looking. I know I won't have a lot to write on that week because of it being a holiday. And so I'm okay with having more stickers on it, but I wanna flip through kind of like to where we are right now at the very end of May and what my planning ends up looking like with stickers. So what, this is just how I do it. When I get my new planner, I take her seasonal sticker book. This is my favorite thing to use. And I have actually used most of it up, unfortunately, so I can't show it to you guys. But for every single month, there is a page in the seasonal sticker book. So you have a full page, like this was January, then there was February, then there was March. You can see there's hardly anything left on my page, April. And you even have the name of the month up here, which is one of my very favorite things in her seasonal sticker book, because I use those names of the month on these 12 boxes at the beginning. I love using those right there. They look beautiful. On these 12 boxes, I'm not gonna get into the whole thing about how I plan, but these 12 boxes, I put big bills that only come once or twice a year, such as Amazon Prime, our life insurance, our Audible, we're on a plan that we pay once a year, our car insurance, we pay twice a year, our HOA dues, we pay twice a year, you get the point. So um, last year I started this and it worked so well. I started putting when those big bills are due in here, and that way I can look at each month and know what to expect as far as the bigger bills that only come one to two times a year, maybe some of them three times a year. But I love these monthly stickers to use for those boxes and those are from her seasonal sticker book right here. So every page um, represents a month. There's May and it flows exactly perfectly with her colors in her planner for the colorful. And if you're using the neutral, it works perfectly too because it just gives a pop of color in there. And it flows with that well too. So July, and then you get the point. You go all the way through the end of the year, which I've used up most of it. You get one page per month. That is the Erin Condren Seasonal Sticker Book. This happens to be edition three. And it has been my favorite one so far. So when I first get my planner, I take the Seasonal Sticker Book and what I do is I sit down, you'll see as we look ahead in months, and I basically just take an afternoon to place all my stickers to decorate my planner up like this because my weeks don't stay blank. I do not sit down and plan a week out right before the week comes. I never have a blank week in my planner because I plan as things come up. So I need to just already have my stickers in there. I don't have a time every week to sit down and sticker up my planner. And then I'd have to be going around the things that I've already added. So I add my stickers first when I first get my planner and I rarely add any more stickers to it. I add all my stickers 
And then the only stickers I would add to it is if she gives some sticker sheets in like her seasonal surprise boxes. And if I have a place to use those, then I go in and go ahead and add those. But here you will see, this is where I have already just placed all my stickers. And you'll see I've already started some planning too. I mean, we're only in May, but I have stuff written in all the way to September. If I know something's happening, then it is written in. And so all my stickers are placed for our family birthdays and for the season changes. Hello, Autumn. I'm just going to flip through so you can see. So that's exactly what I do. I mainly only use her seasonal sticker book. But this year, I did get her designer sticker book, her new one, Edition 4, that came out with her launch. And they have some new really cool clear metallic stickers in them. You can see I've already used a lot of those. And they have a lot of beautiful metallic stickers. But like the clear kind of like vellum-like stickers were a new thing. These are clear kind of like vellum too in a color though. So this is her, um, what does she call it? Sorry, just she calls it her designer sticker book and it's edition four. But you can see what I've already used up in it. And you can see what it comes with. A lot of flags, really pretty colors that just brighten her already bright pages, really. Lots of quotes, some little reminders or like, um, motivational phrases, you know, check off lists, more fun motivation, and you get the point. Okay, so that's her whole um, designer sticker book. So I had not bought one of these before. I had only used her seasonal sticker books up to this point, but I really liked some of the stickers she added in here. They're fun. So I'm glad I added that on this year. Now, something that I have not used a lot of, but I have left to use, are her sticker pages. I think that's what they're called anyway. They are only $3 a page, and I'll go ahead and go through and show you the ones I have. These have all basically been thrown into orders when I need to up my order to get free shipping because there's something easy to throw in. But since I had already decorated my whole planner with the seasonal stickers um, from the seasonal sticker book before I got these, I didn't leave really room for those stickers. And so next year, now that I already have these, I will decorate with these first and then add in the seasonal sticker book because I do love to use these and I actually don't use, I'll show you some places where I've used it besides my birthday week. I've used it a couple other places. And uh, yeah, so that mid-century design on my birthday week was a sticker page. It was a whole sticker page. There is the mid-century design sticker page, and I think I used almost the whole sticker page on this page, but that would not be the norm. That was because this is a birthday week, like I said. Also, it's in the summer when our lives are slower, so I knew I wouldn't need all my room. During the school year, I have many more events and scheduled things to write down, and I might not put this many stickers on a week, even if I wanted to. But I love the way this looks. So these, all these mid-century stickers came from her sticker page like this. So the whole page is one theme. So I'm just gonna flip through these for you guys. Try not to shake things too much. I got a Halloween one, her painted pumpkins. I got this world one thinking for like back to school time because seeing stickers might make me more excited for that because I'm never excited for my kids to go back to school. Then 4th of July, I got these two because I just, I love the 4th of July. But considering I probably won't even use a whole page for one year, um, these are going to last a while. But actually, now that I think about it, I can use them for the entire month of July. So I'm sure I can use these up next year, not just on the week of July 4th, but I would use them for the entire month of July. And these two sticker pages were ones that you could actually choose your own colors. So I could like choose that the background was navy and the firework is red. I could choose the stars being white and the background being navy on this one. So I also love that some of her stickers have that color choice option. That's just, it's amazing to me. Um, then I got the grateful give thanks with a grateful heart for Thanksgiving time or the whole month of November really. I got several Christmas sheets just because let's be honest, that's the time of year you want to decorate the most. Her pretty um, Christmas 
footballs with the snow. And then one of my favorite Christmas patterns ever is her Holly Jolly poinsettias with the white background. I love that. And then her gingerbread house, I love also. Um, I bought these when I wasn't knowing that her seasonal sticker book was going to come with those awesome cursive um, months written out. And so I thought I was going to use these for my 12 boxes of months at the beginning, but I ended up not needing to. So these are all the sticker sheets that I will place first next year. So let me give you a flip through. This academic year I'm going to start using in January because I'm going to recoil it with the rest of this calendar year painted petals that I have. So I only started decorating from January on in here. And you will see that mainly it's the seasonal sticker book with a little bit of this designer sticker book thrown in. So New Year's Day and New Year's Eve is really decorated up because I knew I wouldn't have to write a lot of tasks down. Here is those new clear stickers, which I just think look amazing in the sticker book and I love. And I'm not even a huge sticker person. I honestly didn't plan with stickers until I found Erin Condren and I'm still not a huge sticker person, but for a very small price with Erin Condren, these sticker books are $15 and she almost always has like an accessory sell where if you buy four accessories, then you get a discounted price. So they're really affordable and it's just, it, it does make me happier to add this into my week. When I turn to my week, I like that I've already pre-decorated it out and it just brings a little bit more joy to my week. And honestly, it makes me want to be a little bit neater in my planning because I just think my page looks prettier. And so it kind of inspires me to try to be a little bit neater. But when I show you the planner pages I've already used, if you don't already follow me, you'll see I'm not that neat in my planning. I'm very functional and things have to get scribbled in throughout all day, every day and last minute. So I will just flip through a little bit of this and show you guys. If you want a full review of Erin Condren planners, I have all her new layouts for 2019 in her Woven Wonder. I will post that video down in the description box. I have an hourly. I have this vertical colorful. My hourly is neutral, so I could show you a neutral. And then I have a horizontal colorful. So if you wanted to see all of Erin Condren's offerings and find out a little bit more about her, in each layout, I will post that video down in the description box. Really, it's just, I don't really plan out my stickers that well. I just kind of flip through the books and do it very quickly. Whatever I think will look good, you can always just take a sticker off if you don't like it. And so that's how I do it. This is the end of my Valentine kit from this year. So basically, I will find my Valentine page this year. I used about half the kit this year on my Valentine page. This was from 2018. And then I used about half the kit on 2019 page. So it worked out well. That was one of those $3 sticker sheets. And it's also one that you could choose the colors on. And I just, this is probably one of the favorite sticker sheets I've ever gotten. I love the colors that I made it. I just love that, that heart sticker sheet. And so here's what the rest of February looks like. And then we go into March. And a lot of times I put these lines at the very bottom because I usually use this space to record um, the temperatures for the day and my workout for the day. And if I do use them for big stickers down here, then I can always put them in the bottom of these boxes. I'm flexible with that. So I love the stickers where she uses all those fun rainbow colors. I decided to just do this because of St. Patrick's Day. So put rainbow color with those flags and that made it fun, I think. And I didn't even need any big sticker book. Those rainbow flags are all in this designer sticker book. So I thought that was a fun idea, even being someone who's not a sticker person and not that creative. <laughs> That's what my pages are looking like thus far. And then you have April with Easter in it and springtime. And like, I don't love the way I wrote Easter on there and it turned out, but I can just take that sticker out and replace it with something else. So it's not a big deal. Don't be afraid to do anything in your planner. You know, it's just, it's not supposed to make you stressed out. I mean, the only reason I add stickers is because it brings happiness and joy to my week. So don't let it stress you out. 
I added another rainbow color line to May because May is probably my least favorite color that Erin Condren uses. I'm just not a huge fan of that peach color. And so I wanted to put as much color in there as I could, I guess. And so I did it on the next day in May too. And then we're finishing out May. And then we have our June. That's our last day of school. So it's decorated out big right there. Then we're into summer, which is my favorite time of year, our birthday and anniversary week. And then we just keep going. But I hope this answers some of your questions on how I use stickers, how I do mine. So mine, like I said, is already all stickered out. And while I finish talking, I will just flip through the current planner I've been using so you can kind of see how it looks. And it's, I do not sit down and add stickers ever again, like I said, unless they come in a seasonal surprise box, like some of these did. And if I have blank spots and they fit in, then I go ahead and add those in. And if not, then I would just save them for the next year. Like these came in a seasonal surprise box and I was able to add them in there and they, they went with it and they looked good. But if they didn't, no big deal. So this is what my planning ends up looking like. I have several videos on how I plan an Erin Condren. I use a weekly planner, which is the Erin Condren Vertical Colorful. And then I also use a daily planner, but my daily planner switches up a lot just because I have access to many. And so I just switch it up on a whim as I want to, just because I have access to so many. And then I can report to you guys, you know, how I like them. And my daily planner, I never pre-plan ahead. So that's why it's easy to switch. My daily planner is just strictly my daily to-do list. So it's really easy for me to switch that. I do not switch up my weekly unless I honestly truly want to use another planner. And I've been using Erin Condren Colorful Vertical since September of 2017. Yes. So I've been in it, you know, we'll be coming up on a year in September and I've been really happy with it. But this is the way that mine looks stickered out. These were from a seasonal surprise box and added in. And so that is how I do it. My weeks are never blank. As you can see, we are not to these weeks in June yet because we were at the end of May when I'm filming this. And look, this week already has this much written on it. So things are already written out. Here is part of another sticker kit page I have not showed you in June. So that's kind of fun. And then I use the other half of that same sticker kit page just on another page in June. So it works out. So that's just how it usually ends up working out. I don't usually use the whole sticker kit page on one page. And if you want to know more about my planning, I do give a planning update every quarter. I have a planning update playlist actually, and you can find quarter one and quarter two there. And when we get into quarter three, I usually film it about in the middle of a quarter. And then I've already showed you these. So I think I flipped through pretty much everything. I hope that answers questions about stickering with functional planning and Erin Condren stickers. And there really is no rhyme or reason or rules to where you place these stickers, you guys. And that's something that people have asked. And I am like the least best person to ask about that because... I don't follow any rules or agenda with the stickers. I just look at the page and see where I think I want them to go and just randomly design something and honestly do not stress about it much. It's just my planner and the stickering really does not stress me out and that's how I do it. All right guys, thanks for watching. Have a great day, happy planning, until next time, bye-bye.